Hi, my name is Kim Sims. I wanted to share with you a little bit about what's going on at uh, our house. So I wanna talk to you about Ninja, Ninja Red and uh, Jackhammer Juice. So um, recently I had my husband start taking it and um, we'll tell his story another time, but I've been taking it for a while and I haven't really said, um, you know, told my story about what's going on and why I keep taking it. Um, when I started drinking Ninja Red, it was mostly because um, I wanted to support my immune system and, you know, keep, stay above the wellness line kind of a thing. But what I noticed when, um, when I was taking it, you know, you know, and it felt expensive and I didn't want to take it every day and I didn't want to take so much because, you know, I wanted to, wanted to not spend so much money on it, but as I, as I, so there was another option and that was red drink that I was introduced to and I needed to up my water intake anyway because, um, you know, I just don't drink that much water and so it's a way for me to get in what I need and also take, you know, also increase my water intake as well. Um, so the reason I stuck with red drink and and what red drink is, is, uh, is Ninja Juice. So this is already mixed up. So I've been keeping several bottles mixed up in our fridge now uh, because my husband is drinking it now as well and he's having good success with it. And here's the deal with it. So Ninja Red comes in this bottle, right? And to mix up Jackhammer Juice is what uh, Tom Lott calls it, or Red Drink, you put in two ounces. So you take an empty bottle of this size or this bottle, with, you know, an empty bottle that you have two ounces of Ninja Red and then and then um, some Selfrazyme. So we put it and you put in however much you feel you need. So I started with two teaspoons of Selfrazyme and depending on who's drinking it, when and why, um, I may up that. And sometimes we add citrus oils. I know Tom Lott adds citrus oils to his. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on how much of a hurry I'm in. I like it with or without myself because uh, I'm used to it now. Um, my um, kids, my Gunner drinks it occasionally. Um, I would prefer that he drink this than Gatorade or, you know, root beer or whatever happens to be out in the shop that he nabs. He's, he doesn't, he's not allowed to drink pop. So, um, He'll drink, he'll nab a root beer or something out of there every once in a while, but I prefer that he drink this and he enjoys it. He'll drink it warm, he'll drink it cold, he'll drink it however. I prefer it really cold, uh, which is unusual because um, I don't like to drink my water cold. I drink my water room temperature, but I do prefer this cold. And so here's the story behind why I keep drinking it. Um, so I have, so first of all, I am not here to diagnose, treat, or cure anything or anybody, nor does Young Living diagnose, treat, or cure anything with any of their products. Just um, wanted to share with you that I have not ever been diagnosed. I've never been to the doctor for my aches and pains, but I've had aches and pains for years. Um, and it's just kind of something I deal with. And so what I learned was years ago, I don't know if you know that, f f I don't know if it's, I suppose it's a fad diet. I don't know if it's a fad diet, but it, at the time for me, it was a fad diet. Um, and I'm not going to say the name of it cause I don't want to, you know, sneer anybody, but it was the packaged foods and the, the powdered shakes and the, you know, chocolate bars and, and, um, the, the, puff ball, cheese ball things. And for diet food, they were good. They worked. They, they, I felt better when I ate that stuff, but that's not real life. I like to eat, you know, food. I like to eat, I like to eat Doritos. I know I shouldn't like to eat Doritos, but I like to eat them. And what I found when I did that fad diet was, um, I didn't hurt my, that's the first time and it was that was years ago it was I was working geez I was working probably at the law firm then so that would have been 90s 
early 90s. I don't know. It was a long time ago. But when I did this fad diet, um, no, I was, it was when we owned the convenience store. So it was still 90s, late 90s probably. Anyway, um, I did this fad diet and I realized that I felt good. My body didn't hurt. My body, and, and when I say my body hurt, I would come home from work and I would just go to bed. I would, I would lay down because, because everything hurt everything my skin hurt my a little too much information but my my boobs hurt my skin hurt my hands hurt everything hurt and when I did that diet I felt good so I thought well I wonder what it is it must be carbs you know I thought so I cut out all the carbs when I went off the thing I cut out all the carbs and and it was okay for a while, but you know, a girl likes to eat pizza and then my face would swell and you know, I wasn't, I'm not allergic to anything, but um, the more crap I eat, the more crappy I feel. And I suppose people, I mean, I don't know, that doesn't seem to be the case for everybody because you know, my family can eat that way and, and they're fine, fine. Um, so I realized the trial and error, long time coming. So the, the fewer processed foods that I eat, the better I feel. But you know, a girl still got to eat, you know, I try to do well, I try to eat um, non processed foods for breakfast and lunch, but my family wants to eat what they want to eat. And, and then when they eat it, I want to eat it. So I kind of just suck it up. You know, if I don't want to have something else, I just, I just hurt, you know, and for a long time, I would just take ibuprofen because that would take away the the it would kind of numb it a little bit so I took a lot of it to be honest with you um over the years and years ago back in 1999 I blew out my knee I was in taekwondo and I blew out my knee and after my surgery from that I took I took ibuprofen even before my surgery I took ibuprofen often but afterwards it didn't always take away the pain of my knee um, after my surgery, but it kind of dulled it a little bit. So I was taking ibuprofen often, a lot, you know, several times a day, most of the time. Um, and when I uh, started, so what I, I did a cleanse is what I did with, with Young Living and with a group of friends uh, with Young Living. And I did a cleanse and I felt amazing and so after that, you know, you stop doing the cleanse and then you start eating the crap and then you feel like crap again. And, but what I found was uh, when I drink Ninja, when I drink the jackhammer juice with the sulfur zyme, and um, oftentimes I'll add amino wise to it. And I didn't bring that out here, but amino wise kind of helps your muscles recover after a workout. Now, to be clear, I don't work out. I'm, I'm not a workout. I should, I'd, I'd like to, it's a goal, but you know, getting in a walk down the lane, that's about as much as I can do. But at any rate, if, if I eat too much crap, I'll, I'll take, I'll drink more of the jackhammer juice. I'll take some extra sulfur zyme capsules along with the, um, with the jackhammer juice and I'll take some enzymes. So I'll either, I'll either take essential zymes or you know, these are more fun. It's Mighty Pro, and that seems to help too. Helps my stomach, helps me, um, helps me recover from the crap that I ate a little bit better. Um, so again, I, I, I can't diagnose, treat, cure anything. And, and, and if I could eat greens and, you know, non-processed and fruits and healthy stuff 24 seven, you know, maybe I wouldn't need so much of the stuff, but for me, that's not real life. So um, this helps me through it. And I thought um, that I should share my story. And if you have any questions, absolutely let me know. But that's what I find is I'm not so tired. I'm not so achy. My skin doesn't hurt. It's been a long time since my skin hurt. And, and so I don't, I won't be without the stuff. I won't go I mean, even when we travel, I'll take it with me. You know, it's nice that um, Young Living's got the Ninja in the packets. Um, and so then when I travel, I just take the packets and 
almost a whole bottle of this will fit into this bottle. But if I'm traveling, I'll just mix it up in this. And, and it's, you just put the, so if I don't have the powder, I we use the powder and the capsules of Sulfurzyme at our house. There are a little bit of differences in the, in the benefits for you. And I'm happy to read it out of a book for you or tell you which book that it's in so that you can read it for yourself. This is the book that I recently got and I'm sure that information is in there. I just know that I feel better when I take it. So um, this is Supplements Desk Reference by Jen O'Sullivan. And I know she's coming out with a new one. I don't know if it's quite available yet, but I saw her on a video the other day and she's got a new uh, updated version coming out with some, some of the new products in it. But this one is also good. So if this one's available on Amazon or at her, I think at her site probably too. Uh, but I think I got mine off Amazon. So, so I add the powder into my drink. And if I'm out of the powder, then I'll just open the capsules and put it in the drink and take some extra capsules. It's how we do it at our house. And my husband is doing that as well. And he's not walked and stooped over like a 90 year old man. So that's awesome. And also as a side note, um, my youngest has been sneezing a lot. And I have to, I can't say all the things, but, and he doesn't like to take, he can't, he, he can't swallow the capsules. We've tried and tried and he can't do it. But, so this is what a Selverzyme capsule looks like. It's totally full. And so this morning, he woke up and he's been sneezing his head off. And uh, so he put some Ninja juice in a shot glass and he let me put this much in with the shot. So I put in about half of this much in the first shot and then he we filled the glass again and then I put that much more in it. And he hasn't been sneezing since. So this much out of there did that for my 12 year old. You know, what's nice about this stuff is I am comfortable letting my kids drink it, take it, eat it. I don't have to worry that there's gonna be side effects. I don't have to worry that um, he's gonna, you know, <laughs> I, I just don't have to worry. So that's what we do at our house. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I don't want this to get too much longer. So I'm gonna hang up, hang up. Um, shut down, whatever you want to call it. Everybody have a great day and thanks for joining in and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.